stop the gaming when you have that might be a dumb question but what is the importance of scrims i assume tim or i assume teams aren't implementing any important straps during scrims right so again strats in respawns are 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 different from like search strats if that makes sense you're going to implement strats you think are how do i explain it you're going to be doing things on the map that you think are the winning plays in your situations that you're given right so you're trying to get in those situations in practice and realize what we should be doing in those situations what's the most optimal play in those situations guys you're going to be in hundreds and hundreds of different decision making you know situations and that's for each player on every map so it's as a team working out what as a team you were trying to do goal wise on specific hills or goal wise in a specific situation you're not saying okay we're not gonna hit the right here because that's the strat we're gonna save for land you know because you want to get in those situations to be prepared to be like, okay, if we hit the right, what's going to happen here? How are we going to dap off of it if, you know, X guy gets killed or if we get, you know, two pieced over here? You know, there are going to be a lot of situations you need to be get, getting into in practice so that when you are in a match, if you get in that situation, you can, you know what to do in those situations. We have to work this bomb down because when you give Atlanta a lot of time around yeah, the map, yeah. that's when they take And map. I don't know if other teams do this. We, I've never been on a team that does this. I've never been like, guys, intentionally flip yourself out on the P3 so we can start, you know, breaking P3s and, and working on our P3 breaks. You're just, after all of those maps that you're going to be playing with throughout, let's say, a week, you're going to be getting in those situations naturally because you're either holding the hill or breaking the hill, right? You're going to be getting in those situations, so you might as well, in those situations, work on what you're given. There's no point being like, okay, you know, chalk it up, don't, you know, flip out right here and try and break this hill, when it's just like, okay, no, just work on your hold. Just work on your hold on that hill. Rewatch the process? I'll, I'll rewatch it uh, sometime this week, for sure. I figure I'll watch this match uh, with you guys today. There are only three times that Atlanta Fays have not accrued more than 200 points. You wouldn't do that in a match? Why would you do that in practice? Exactly. Exactly. So, in the match, you wouldn't be like, okay, you know, we're in that P3 situation. Just stick to the P3 hold. You know, that was what you were given. You were going to be getting into breaking P3 situations later on in the week or later on in that day. So there's no point in just chalking, you know, a perfectly good hold situation that you might need to have to work on. Well, what's the, the best advice to get better at the game? The watch your own you gameplay and watch professional gameplay. Figure out what decisions you're making, which is not gonna be easy why you're making them, and look at pro gameplay and see what decisions X player would make in, in that situation. Just take your favorite player or player you think is really good at the game, watch their arrow and see why they might be making specific decisions based on what's going on in the map. That bomb being down towards bottom pit, he's trying to get early info of where the I think watching pro gameplay is probably the best shit you so can do. Try to make 